Hi there. How are you doing? You doing good? Oh, that's that's great. Mhm. Mm so everything's good. Cool. That's good. Um. So you came in last time, and you talked to me about um, what kind of perfumes you liked and what kind of scents you enjoyed um, because you wanted me to pick out a few that I thought smelled nice and suited you from like a professional's point of view, yeah okay, um, I have paid out a few <laughs> um, some cheaper than others um, some smell nicer than others but obviously you have um, the option of what you prefer, it's really the scent that you have to think about. So I'm going to start off by letting you smell each one without knowing the prices or um, anything like that. Obviously I cannot take the stickers off them and they now have a secure lid which means you cannot take, remove the lid um, the, the main part of the Quite a thing so that you, um, people um, won't sell just water in a bottle because apparently that's what people do nowadays to attract people. So um, I'm gonna have to ask you to close your eyes if you don't mind, just so that I can let you get used to the smells and know which ones you like and which ones you don't like as much. And then I'll tell you the prices and everything so that you don't get put off first. Okay? Yeah. Because sometimes you know when you smell, when you see that it's a cheap perfume, and when you smell it, you don't smell it the same because you think that it's going to be rubbish anyway, so. <laughs> Which is not always the case. So, yeah. So it's alright if you just close your eyes. Awesome. I'm not going to be doing it any order. Just close your eyes. Okay. Make sure you don't peek. These are obviously testers. Yeah, just keep your eyes closed. I'm just gonna spray it in front of your nose. I won't spray it on you, don't worry. Can you smell that? sense can you smell? Yeah. Quite fruity, isn't it? Yeah, it's very sweet. It's um it's the sort of thing that you would wear um if you're going to a party or something. Or if you're if you're either going to a party, like a birthday party, or if you're going to into town or I don't know when you're on holiday I mean it's got that sweetness that where if you'd wear it in France people would be um it's it's the type of thing you'd wear yeah all right um next one you need to close your eyes again okay I'm gonna spray it over your nose don't worry on you. Can you smell that one? Yes, this one's a lot more sophisticated. It does smell, you can still smell the floweriness, can't you? Can you smell anything else? Mm, yeah, it smells like roses, doesn't it? Obviously I picked out quite a few sweet ones because you said that that was the sort of perfume you enjoyed smelling. Yeah, okay. Um, what I would, I think that one's more the type of thing you'd wear to a formal party more than anything really. Um, formal party or like wedding or anything like that would do. Really, I think it's just it's a nice smell if you put like just a little bit on 
on you, on your neck, then um, it just gives out that scent of sophistication, in my opinion. <laughs> okay, next one. You can close your eyes. Again, I'm going to spray it in front of your nose so I won't spray it on you, so don't, you don't have to worry. fresher um when you mentioned you like sweet um scent i thought i could give a try something that's like, kind of like a fresh and sweet thing um just to give a bit of a change because obviously if you're looking for one specific perfume i could have just given you just one of them but i created a variety so that you could choose what kind of perfume you liked yeah so it's a lot fresher yeah um, but you can still smell, that one's more of like, it's more of a, a flowery, soft scent and very fresh. So you can wear that, um, I don't know, like, when you go to the beach or any type, like, when you go, when you're going out and you feel, you feel like you need to smell fresh, just like refreshed any time like that so if you're going to a wedding you could wear it i mean it's not the type of thing you'd wear to a party but a wedding is sounding quite nice for that i think okay close your eyes the last one i'm just gonna spray it from your nose now What did you think of that one? It's nice, isn't it? This one's, um, you said you liked sweet smells. Um, a lot like the first one I showed you. Um, it's very sweet. This one is more of a, um, like candy floss smell. So it's very sweet. You can wear that to parties and it's very, very nice. Um, and it's quite strong as well. So you don't need to wear very much, it lasts quite a long time. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a sweet candy floss smell. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, so obviously I got you to smell these, all these different perfumes. Um, if you didn't enjoy any of them, then I can find others but if you want to just go through which ones you liked okay um do you want to say which one's your favorite yeah you like the candy floss one yeah that's probably my favorite as well is that the only one you enjoyed most you enjoyed the second one as well yeah okay Right, do you want me to reveal each one? Okay, right, the first one. Would you like to smell it? I won't spray it this time, you can easily smell it on there. Just sniff out. Obviously I said this one, going out on a holiday, wearing it, when you're going around French town would be perfect. It's actually by Bourgeois Paris, that's the name of it. Um, and it's de toilette it's not proper perfume i don't know if what it's called in english but this one was obviously bought in france um made in france so yeah you can smell it's very sweet and it's the cake the bottle it's a very pleasant shape it's very easy to hold when you're spraying it you got you got the nice grip on the bottle and um, yeah, it's, it's an easy spray, it's just fine. Um, and it's called Clin d'oeil. It's by Lovely Girl as well. Um, well, that's probably, I don't know, that's probably the name of um, one of the sponsors. I don't know if um, Bourgeois Paris is a sponsor. Um, <coughs> I 
Okay, so the name of the perfume is Clande, and um, that's like the brand. And then Lovely Girl is the type of its brand, and then Bourgeois Valley is its sponsor. And what it was, where it was made. <laughs> I need to get these right. The lid is very cute. Um, it's plastic with plastic, but it's it stays on really well. It's like click it clicks on, so it's good. Um, this one's seventy five ml mils. It's just a test of bottle, so obviously we could get a new one. So the second one you said you liked. And this one is actually a really cheap one, um, obviously because we are um, a perfume shop we find perfumes from everywhere and this one was just from a supermarket perfume and it's called Flowery Red and it's by Anna Biondi um, and I mean it's, it's quite cheap actually, I forgot to tell you about this price this one's quite expensive, obviously because it was made um, by Bourgeois Bailly, it's got quite a lot of value to it, um, and uh, yeah, it's quite expensive, but it's like, it's like mid-range, it's not very, it's not too expensive. This one, um, very cheap, the lid obviously is not very stable, which is the reason, probably one of the reasons why the packaging isn't so good. I mean, the shape, it's its charming, it's very fashionable, um, obviously the, the glass doesn't have any colouring to it, but it just it shows, you can see the slight hint, tint, hint, hint, in the perfume itself, which can give it a nice glow, um, for appearance. Um, the spray is very liquidy, um, obviously it will sink into your skin quite well, um, and it should stay there because it is very wet, so you can, it will sink into your skin <laughs> if you're worried about that. <laughs> okay, the third one was this one, and this one is the Beyonce perfume heat. It's called heat and it's a special edition heat perfume. Um, this one's relatively cheap for what it is because obviously um, spawn, like um, people who make perfumes like this one was made by Beyonce as you can see on the top of the lid um, there's a bee and um, there's Beyonce. Um, the ones that are made by artists or famous people are usually very expensive, like the um, Shakira. I think it's Shakira. Shakira perfume. That's very expensive. Um, or is it Kylie Minogue? I get. I get these mixed up, I'm sorry, um, but usually like, oh, Katy Perry is very expensive, her new one, um, I'm not too sure what it's called, sorry, um, I'm not, I, we do, we obviously specialise in just certain makes and stuff, so, yeah, um, the bottle is beautiful, it has a lovely finish of a very dark blue on the top going to light blue here and the bottle shape it has this like these curves in the glass and it has that the same at the top like around here and the gold just finishes that off with just like it's it looks like it would be extremely expensive just the packaging um so you can smell that again if you like now that you know that it's more expensive on the expensive side um but no it's special edition um heat Beyonce perfume <coughs> and um yeah I like the gold around here because it just you know it adds it just 
The thing I like about this, probably one of the most, the things I like most about this one is the packaging because it's, it's beautiful and obviously people say, you know, it's not about the packaging, it's about the scent. Um, when it's sitting on your desk and you want it to look good because perfume is not only about the scent but it should look good in your room. <laughs> That's one of the main things I think. Obviously not for everyone, but for a lot of people it has to look good. And the last one which you said you also liked was this one. And this is the most expensive one that I showed you. <clears throat> this one is Anais Anais. And it is very expensive. Very expensive. Um, it's Premier Delis. And it's called by Kashar. Oh, it's made by Kashar. And it's Eau de Toilette Vaporizer Natural Spray. And it was made in France. <clears throat> and yeah, it's quite expensive actually. Um, very cute bottle. Very cute. Um, obviously it's very pink so it wouldn't necessarily go with every everyone's first choice. The lid. It has a little click thing on here, so you can hear it slightly. Um, you can pick it up without any problems. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're in a hurry and you'd like, um, you just have to be careful. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it would come up in your bag either if you wanted to have it in your bag. Um, the shape, obviously, there's. Um, it's very small so they didn't really get to do much on the shape and stuff of the bottle. I like the shape of the lid, it, I think it really suits the like shape of the bottom part. And there's like these two, these lines here that just like, I don't know, it complements the size because it's just so cute all in all. Do you want to familiarise yourself? The smell. There you go. Um, so yeah, this one's very expensive because it's obviously Anais Anais is a very expensive French make, which is why it's so good. Uh, I mean, it's not why it's so good, but a lot of the time French perfumes are very good um, from our experience here. So there you have it. Um, you still wanting to go for them too? Do you want me to give you the prices? Okay, right. Are you thinking of the Beyonce one? Yeah, it's... You see, it all depends really. Um, I mean, a lot of people get artist perfumes because they enjoy the artist, but sometimes just the smell is nice. You know, do you like Beyonce? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's alright. Yeah, I think, I think that getting a perfume because of the smell is probably the most important thing, but obviously there's all the packaging, where it's from, who it's by, all that also comes into the um, picture while choosing. Um, so this one would probably be about um, £20, so it is, as I said, quite expensive. Then the second one, this one, this one's literally just £5, so you could get this one with another one and it wouldn't really add too much on the price. And then this one is £25, obviously five extra pounds for the fact that it's um, a Beyonce perfume, clearly. And then this last one is £30, 
So you can see it's very much on the expensive side. And these are for these sizes that I've just shown you. So if you want a bigger one then it would be more expensive and if you want like a small one then that would be more expensive. That would be less expensive as well. So what do you think? Are you going to go for two? Yeah? You changed your mind about the really expensive one. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, um, some people would say that price doesn't matter when it comes to perfume because it's all about smell and if it smells good then whatever which I think is a bit ridiculous personally um, so yeah I would so I would so go for the Beyonce one definitely is that what you were going to say the Beyonce one and the the five pound one that is a great choice great choice indeed right I'll just pop them there put these away were you satisfied with the perfumes I showed you today? Yeah? You don't want to have a look at any more? Sure? Okay. That's cool. So it was quite alright then. I wasn't going for the completely wrong thing. Oh, that's good. That's really good to hear. Alright. Um, just... Could you please get me um, a box of each, please? Would you like them in the same size? Yeah. Both of them? Okay. Yeah, just the same size as that, please. Okay, thank you. Right. They're just going to package up there. Nate, would you like... Um, would you like to pay by card, or...? Yes. Thank you very much. Right. Would you like to just um, write in your pin, please? Thank you. <coughs> like to go to um, the till over there where my colleague is just wrapping your perfumes. Um, would you like me to find any more for you to test out another time or would you think you'll be alright? Because obviously I can take down some notes for the next time if there's anything you'd like to add. want more sophisticated next time. Yes. And fresh. Okay, so go for the more gentle, fresh scents, yeah? Would you say, um, you would like them to be more um, on the sweet side, just slightly, yeah, because you want more sophistication in there, a lot of the time sweet ones aren't seen as that, <laughs> okay, slightly then. Cool, okay, well, um, I have your contact details so when I have found um, anything interesting that would you that r price range, range pr pr that price range is good yeah so 5 to 25 yeah okay is there any brands or anything no. Okay, so um, if I find anything interesting, 
that's that price range and what you're looking for that I think you might like, then I will call you up and tell you. Okay? Um, is that all you needed? If you need any assistance or anything, then you can just come in and we will help you out. Yeah. Um, also, because you are a member of our shop, um, you will be able to um, get a guarantee thing which allows you to return the perfume, um, get a discount, sorry, on the perfume if it breaks within two months. Yeah. So all you have to do is um, bring in the perfume which has smashed or like <laughs> as much as you can of it um, in a plastic bag and um, we will return some of the money, obviously not all of it, we don't do that, we um, give you 25% discount on that if anything happens to it within that time. Okay, yeah, um, so that's it, yeah, just go to my colleague over there and she'll give you your perfume. Okay, thank you very much for coming in, it was really nice talking to you. Yes, you too, <laughs> bye. Hey guys, um, so <laughs> I've been very busy lately. Um, as you can see, I have these things. I'm clearly, I've turned into a vampire, so yeah, gonna have to put up with them. I talk a bit funny, so if you guys want me to make a video with me, um, obviously I've already had a request to do close up 